Getting it real with Wong Chun Wai on the hottest topics, frank, engaging, and candid. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hi, Malaysia. Welcome back to part two of my wow. conversation with uh, Siri Kasim. This has just got started. It's going to be more interesting in part two. So here we go. Okay. Siti, okay. Mm. why is it that the Saudi Arabia is opening up? I mean, this is a super conservative uh, country, but it is encouraging concerts uh, over the past few years. Indonesia is holding, has been holding the K-pop concerts. And over here in Malaysia, we have passings. Nope, you should not be doing this. So Indonesia has got the largest Muslim population in the world. And while we have uh, Saudi Arabia, which is the uh, the guardian of Islam, so to speak. Okay, now, these two countries have actually uh, amazed most people. But over here in Malaysia, we seem to be taking a different route. Do you get calls from people from your friends overseas to say, hey, what's happening in Malaysia? Why is this taking place? Do you get this kind of a reaction? No need from overseas. Lah. I mean, just look at around us. Of course, all Malays like me are very frustrated what's going on now you want to you know you want to know why indonesia and saudi arabia are moving uh you know towards progressive uh, uh sort uh, sort of life uh, lifestyle uh, or understanding of islam is because of leadership it's about leadership you have a strong leadership. I'm not saying, uh, you know, MBS is the best uh, leader in the world, but he has the strong will, political will, to change the direction of Saudi Arabia. So, of course, I don't uh, 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 believe in autocracy, you know, uh, right. you know but, but it's uh, all about leadership. It comes down to the leader. You know, um, the same with Indonesia, for example. Uh, you know, so it's all about Absolutely. leadership. The leaders lead the nation. The leaders path the way to where the nation is uh, heading. In Malaysia, why are we like this? Because our leaders are cowards, you know, selfish. Uh, he gets everything, lah, all the bad things I can say about them. None of them wants to see Malaysia reach the highest height of uh, a nation. It's because they are busy fighting amongst themselves. They are busy fighting about who's going to be the leader, who's going to do this, who, who going to... It's all about power grabbing. But what about uh, the nation? You know, so city, what... City, hmm. the uh, past uh, General Assembly has just uh, concluded today. Okay. Yeah. Um, again, they were talking of uh, forming governments who should they work with, whether it's Mofakat or Pakatan, whatever, okay? And uh, there were some rumblings of, uh, oh, still talking about um, the uh, concerts and so forth. But very ab clearly absent from the uh, assembly was the question of corruption, okay? Nobody talks about it, okay? Um, why is it that, um, I mean, do you feel that the religious figures, okay? It doesn't have to be uh, Ustas, but includes Catholic priests, Christian priests, pastors, and monks, do you think that it should speak more, speak up against corruption rather than just how you should behave, how you should dress up, how you should conduct yourself? But these are important uh, issues because pastors be very uh, vocal and everything, except when it comes to corruption. They are completely silent. Sometimes they even apologize and says that, well, there's nothing in the law that says that you, you, you can't be, be corrupt. Now, um, do you feel that the religious figures should be speaking about this in their sermon and in their, in their, in their interactions with audiences? Well, I'm sure some religious uh, priests and ustas and, uh, you know, uh, they have been uh, talking about uh, the, bad, the bad thing about corruption. But when we talk about past, okay, Past, uh, they, they are not religious people. They are political party using a religion. Okay, uh, so you know, for past, I will specifically say lah, these past people, uh, they will not talk about corruption because this they 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 want to make sure that they are not going to upset uh the the people who are being charged for corruption and all that. 
so they still want to be friends with everybody because uh, you know they are trying to open up their options so they are not going to talk about corruption uh, but of course as a, uh, you know we need more religious people to be righteous in teaching the values of the any religion okay uh, of course in islam i don't i, I am very sure uh, corruption is not condoned you know and uh, corruption is like theft you know uh, uh, when hadi said you know corruption is a willing giver and willing recipient what the hell i mean come on you you are embarrassing islam by saying that but you know this is not about their money it is about the right yaks money you know it's not their own money this money comes from the people how can you say that is there's nothing wrong you know of course between these two people they are they are corrupted they are criminals and you know so this is the thing that you know that's why i think but actually it's good you know i like past uh, you know saying all these stupid things because then their true colors come over you know to the public honestly uh, i really love it when when the past peace post people actually say things like this uh you know for example uh this uh, uh trying to say that oh uh we must stop uh these uh, concerts you know international concerts oh i like it when they say that because more and more people not just uh, the non malays non, non malays obviously they see it already but the malays are beginning to see as well that you know how stupid can these people be you know i mean if i want to go to a concert doesn't make me uh shake my aqida or you know i mean what is it islam saying that you cannot uh, enjoy music you cannot enjoy uh, you cannot have fun uh, you know uh, innocently uh, you know and things like that so the more they do these things the more the public can see the real the real colors or the true uh, sort of uh, yeah. type of people behind us yeah. or to uh, blame uh, non the uh, uh, this non we would trust for as the root of the cause of exactly. corruption in this country. So are, my boggling you you should read the comments uh, on social media yes. you know oh my god the amount of trashing uh, hadi mm. bawang uh, you know that is ha, i was like so happy yes say more things do more stupid things like this then more people can uh, actually uh, see clearly you know like you know for me this is god sent you know uh they are not smart uh and they say whatever they like because they think that they can do whatever and say whatever and uh you know uh people are seeing it continue city what city i want to go back to uh, what you said earlier about your you went back to your old school mm. and having two uh, canteens uh, mm. uh, and that um it is no secret that uh, a lot of our schools the scholar of bangsan uh the uh, what has happened has changed radically during our time of course we know that if you go to a school of Kabangsan, uh, particularly in the english medium schools this was, this was considered the neutral ground people of all races uh, they came together uh, they you know they eat together they, they had great fun together we sleep in our friend's house you know yeah. we lay out together i mean these were great times but now the schools have become really um the fact is that it has become more religious uh, the ustaza or the ustas may have a bigger say and then the headmaster itself. Uh, okay, cheerleading, cheerleading is completely out of the way. You cannot have cheerleading. And then there are a lot of things which is already becoming the uh, no-no. Um, the face of schools have changed. Um, uh, do you feel that why it has come to this point and nothing seems to be, nobody has, nobody has put a stop to this. So the, uh, the effect of it is that uh, some parents will say, that, look, I send my kids to a Chinese school. And those who are much better off says, I send my kids to a um, private school. to a to a private school. Mm -hmm. uh, some says go to international school. The result is that uh, the children are all segregated. We may have a class uh, stratification. Yes. In the past, you may have well race stratification, but now eventually people will be on their own. Uh, they drift away further and further, rather to be to be than just the this the real Malaysian the schools that we used to have. Yeah. Uh, are you saddened by all this? You know. The, uh, course, become religious. Uh, you know, education is so close to my heart. I think, uh, you know, uh, the star carries a few articles of mine uh, with regards to education. And I've said it all along uh, that this is where we need to 
tackle first, you know, a real leader who wants to change this country, please look at the, our education system. It is horrendous. Uh, I mean, um, I, I, it is terrible. In fact, not just Ustaz and Ustaz are now controlling the school, but all these teachers as well becoming, even though they are not Ustaz and Ustaz, they are becoming Ustaz and Ustaz in all their classes. Okay. Uh, and, and the headmistress and headmasters, even in vernacular school now, you know, they are afraid uh, uh, going against the, the Malay Ustaza uh, uh, teachers or what. But this is where leadership comes again. If, you see, when parents complain uh, to the um, uh, Kementerian KPM, uh, Kementerian Pelajaran uh, Malaysia, the KPM will say, oh, we have no such policy, uh, you know, uh, like forcing the students to wear tudung, okay? Uh, by the teachers, you know. Uh, they say that there is no forcing uh, in our policy uh, K, uh, of KPM uh, towards uh, children who go to school, Malays or non-Malays or whatever. But this is imposed by the teachers themselves, you know. They think that they are more Islamic lah, kononnya. Uh, but you see, the headmistress and the headmaster, headmaster, sometimes they are in kahoot with these teachers as well. But they are, I have, uh, 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 heard from headmaster and headmistress, they are afraid to go yeah. against uh, these teachers, you know, because they are so in fear of uh, their job uh, that they will be demonized or uh, they, you know, like uh, that they will gang up against him or her and things like that. So if you are the headmistress and headmasters, you make it clear what is the policy of the school, you know. I mean, at the end of the day, KPM should be the guidance of uh, the school, okay, not the teachers. So yes, there's a massive problem. Uh, but again, when people report to KPM, they do nothing as well, you know, yeah. um, because it's religiously related. No. Yeah. Uh, I have parents coming to me complaining about uh, okay how her uh, uh, her daughter who is an athlete okay uh, her daughter is a very good runner but her daughter complained about the the tudong that she has to wear and the long uh, covered clothes uh, because it's restricting her movement you see yeah. and she feels so hard and stuff like that uh, but. The, the mother is so scared uh, to say anything to the teacher because the teacher insists uh, that this girl must wear all this garb, you know, even though she's such a good athlete. Uh, but then she give up lah because uh, she doesn't want to fight. I mean, there's so many things, you know, I mean, so many things uh, that need to be done lah. You know, first thing, uh, uh, if I am the prime minister, <laughs> I will tackle the education first. I will yeah. get rid of these people who wants to impose their moral values based on their religious belief. And no one, no one is to use their religion to force other children to be to become like them and change yeah. our syllabus as well, which is so important. Uh, but there you go, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the priority should be just on education. We are, yeah. not, we, are, we are not producing enough engineers. We are not producing uh, enough uh, doctors, you know. Uh, that the people were not producing enough uh, scientists and that um, it is very strange that the history is made a compulsory subject and not English. So uh, yeah. in the end, the people who suffer will be our students and those from the... Uh, Definitely. Those from the, yeah, and yeah, someone will uh, look at what said. the history says. La, there's a lot of change of history now in our history books, you know, in the children's history books. I'm appalled. I mean, we, we can talk all night about this, you know, the failures of our education system is humongous. You know, I mean, the best way to bring down a nation is to actually do really badly in, uh, you know, in our education. Lah. Uh, this is what they are doing. You will see the result of these kids uh, in 10 years, 20 years. Uh, this country is kaput with this kind of people, uh, you know, running the country. Yeah. Siti, uh, Orang Asli, of course, is uh, very dear to your heart. Mm. The general election is coming and we know that every election, the uh, politicians will go and get the vote of the Orang Asli. Mm. Now, um, what would you tell the Orang Asli this time? They're all desperate for votes. Uh, what would you tell your Orang Asli to tell these politicians? Well, 
I mean, when I go and see them, I don't talk about politics, lah. You know, okay. uh, but I would say to, but you know, nowadays the orang asli are not idiots, lah. You know, they know, uh, that uh, uh, you know, nowadays the politicians are using them, uh, but the problem is, you see, this orang asli again, uh, orang asli are very uh compliant. They don't like to fight. They don't like to, yeah. uh, you know, say anything uh that will upset anyone. So. You know this this orang asli. Uh, you know my message to them is very simple. Pick a person who will be your champion. Uh, that will champion your causes. Uh, in parliament. Uh, you know people that have uh your interests at heart. Um, you know don't care about what logo they are holding or no logo. It is about the person. Are they really uh, passionate about the issues of our indigenous people yeah so you pick that person uh you know i mean at the end of the day uh or asli have been used for so long already you know and and uh even like jaqua they use jaqua uh you know who's supposed to look after the welfare or of, of orang asli as their vehicle uh to actually uh, support a certain political party so this is a problem, yeah. Siti, um, you are busy um, running around the uh, Batu, the parliamentary seat, to get your machinery going. How do you feel that you are, you do not have the kind of resources, you do not have the kind of money, you do not have the have the kind of a big team uh, to support you against uh, the op big opponents like uh, PKR with the incumbent there, mm. you have the Barisan National, which is another big machinery. Mm. You are fighting these uh, big giants and uh, you are just one person. How, how are you coping with this big fight? No, I'm relaxed about it, lah, you know, because uh, yeah. I'm not hard up uh, mm. uh, in a sense that uh, like all these political parties, uh, they, they must win and all that, you know. I go in uh, with, uh, with a sincere... Um, sort of uh, attitude that if the rakyat really wants change and somebody to speak up for them uh, in parliament, you know, uh, then, uh, you know, choose uh, somebody that will, like me, you know, I, I have no bosses to tell me, no, no, you cannot talk about that because it's too sensitive. Uh, no, 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 you cannot uh, vote for this because uh, it's not in line with our political party stand uh, but I will talk on behalf of the right yet you know it is the the people are the bosses so whether I worry of course I have to work on it lah, you know like for example yeah. uh, I am going to do fundraising uh, soon and I hope people will support me um, uh, so that you know at least I have some money lah to buy banners yeah. you know little banners here and there <laughs> Uh, but but also to help me with my service center, uh, mm -hmm. you know, to me that is uh, more important lah. I have got a lot of calls from other people, um, uh, you know, not just from Batu but also from all the way from Twang. Uh, oh. yeah, uh, asking for my help for advice, you know, and being a lawyer it helps uh to know what to do, the steps, you know, and uh, so I I. You know, I just go along with it, lah. I I just try my best. If uh, you know, if after I try my best, and if still people, uh, uh, you know, sort of worship their political parties and they think that their political parties can make the change, go ahead. You know, uh, at the end of the day, it's very simple. I'm offering uh something new, uh, some somebody that do not have uh anybody telling me what to, to do you know the independence okay i as i uh, i stand on my own uh, together with the rakyat uh, but yeah but also this uh, misunderstanding about uh, independence um, uh, will split the votes and stuff like that right uh, well again i would say that if the political parties the friendly political parties uh, actually, uh, you know, have the right yet at heart. Okay, if they are unable to say things that I can, uh, why don't let just uh, you know let 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 me uh stand without any kind of competition, 
uh, because uh, you know if you believe your ideals and mine are the same and I will be more freer than you to speak in parliament let me be uh, but of course they won't well I don't know maybe they will because uh, I have spoken to uh, Anthony Lok, I have spoken to Chin Tong, I have spoken to Mat Sabu, I have spoken to Syed uh, Sadiq uh, to ensure that we we will work together. But uh, of course, I have not heard from them. Uh, mm. But hopefully, they will consider to. There are only about four or five of us. Okay, uh, yeah. it's not going to affect even a little bit on their uh, uh, sort of seats. Yeah, uh, and they know that. What, what we stand for, uh, which is, I think, about the same as uh, probably some, uh, uh, you know, uh, political parties in PH. I, uh, I will not say all of them, but yeah. I think uh, our values are the same. And the, th the fact that, uh, you know, uh, people are saying that how can you form, of course, I can't form a government. Lah. But, you know, I mean, these people don't understand that, um, Having varieties in parliament is important for check and balance, you know, uh, especially independence because they are not uh, relying on the uh, political parties, yeah. bosses and whip. Uh, so, did, uh, you know, you, 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 I don't know. I mean, I always say that you must think about the person to be in parliament, not the political party, you know, because like-minded people can form a government even though they are from different political parties. Yeah. Uh, even uh, they can uh, appoint a minister from an opposition. Uh, you know, if these people think about the right, yeah, they will choose the best person, not the uh, within their own political parties. But the right yeah, still don't understand how it works. They still yeah. think that only if PH wins big, then only PH uh, can become a government. You know, uh, so this this is the problem. I say if there is a hung parliament, right? You know, and, and they are here, we are all the independents, you know, we hold the key then. <laughs> you know, who are we going with? Who do you think we will go with? The one with the most uh, tendency to help the right yard rather than the one uh, who have tendency helping their own pocket. So, yeah. Siti, uh, how old has been your civil center? Two months, three months? Yeah, about a couple of months. So the people who come to see you, um, what kind of problems do they usually have? Sorry? What kind of problems oh, do very, they... Uh, uh, for example, I have a um, uh, land issue. Mm -hmm. I, I, have, I am still dealing with it. Lah. Um, land okay. issues uh, with regards to some so-called squatters. But they're not... Okay. okay, I mean, I won't go into it. Lah. Okay, that's sure. one thing. And then uh, condominiums. Okay. The problem with condominiums uh, management... Uh, or, or, and then uh, I have uh, uh, issues uh, with regards to um, uh, one family, whole family uh, burned down uh, their business. Lah. Um, and uh, they are so sakit hati about something and uh, so they call me, lah, you know. Um, so I'm trying to help and resolve, uh, uh, you know, try lah, to, I, 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 I'm not going to give any promises that I can settle their problems, but I will try to guide them okay uh also i have become a counselor you know <laughs> for example this old lady 80 years old came you know sakit hati from all problems lah uh mm. so you know i have to counsel her to move on with life because no legal ways for her to do you know to go forward uh yeah so this i, I need volunteers uh, for yeah. my center uh, if anyone uh, can volunteer their time uh will be great uh you know uh because i right now if i'm there i'm there if i cannot then uh, the um, the center is empty although there is a number there um you know but um it it is not the same if there's somebody manning the office yeah right. yeah okay city so for one last question, we have just celebrated National Day. Malaysia Day is coming up. What is your message to Malaysians? My message to Malaysians now. Remember that power is in our hands as the rakyat. Okay. So when we actually want for a better country, uh, you know, 
the way, only way for us as a rakyat to show our power is to go out and vote. Okay, so it is so important that we go out and vote and show our displeasure or pleasure, whichever way, but your vote, even though you think it doesn't count, but it matters a lot. And that is the way we can change the country. And that's what happened in GE14. I know people are frustrated because of what happened, uh, you know, but that that do, do not mix the failure of our politicians with the power of our voting, okay? Uh, please differentiate that because we make a difference in the GE14 and we can make another difference in GE15. And uh, going against a government that is, uh, you know, not good for the country, it is not anti national and uh, nas uh, nationalists okay uh you know because we love our country so we must do something to put in the right people in parliament to take us to the right direction for progressive malaysia so that's my message uh, to all malaysians thank you thank, thank you city as usual you have you always speak up uh, so thank you for spending so much time with us. Yeah. And that um, to all Malaysians, uh, selamat menyambut Hari Malaysia. Yeah. Oh, Malaysia. Yes. Selamat menyambut Hari Malaysia, the real Malaysia, because because uh, uh, Sabah and Sarawak only joined us uh, in uh, September 16. Uh, so before that, before that, it's Malaya. Yeah. Semenanjung Malaysia. Yep. Uh, Semenanjung was Malaya, and uh, only on Malaysia uh, on the September 16. We became Malaysia. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Selamat Hari Malaysia, everybody. Siti, before you go, I've got to correct you. Sabah and Sarawak did not join Malaysia. They helped to form Malaysia. Yeah, okay, yeah. yes, okay, I accept that. <laughs> Thank you so much, yes. Okay, yeah. all right, thanks for joining Siti and myself. Please Thank continue you. watching us. Bye. Thank you.